With Halloween just around the corner, this Grove City Carver is gaining national attention for, no, not jack-o'-lanterns, but his famous sculpted pumpkins. If I can find that nose, then I can find the rest of the facial features. Brian Edwards, also known as Tater, loves pumpkins. I just love pumpkins, right? Fall, Halloween, the whole nine yards. It's my favorite time of year. But he doesn't just paint them or carve them, he sculpts them and has become a national champion for his handiwork. I love it. I just, I don't think there'd be anything else I'd rather do um, with my time than uh, sculpting. It's a love that grew from a young age, as the pumpkin doesn't grow far from the vine. My mom's been carving pumpkins, like, as far as I can remember. It was his love for sculpting and food that landed him in culinary school. Well, I was carving like watermelon roses, beet roses, different little floral arrangements that are Thai style carvings. Carving now for over a decade, Tater will spend anywhere from 20 minutes to eight hours on a single pumpkin. But he doesn't stop there. Just anything I can get my hands on, whether it's fruit, vegetables, pumpkin, ice, sand, you name it, that's what I do. In the fall months, you can find Tater carving pumpkins at Pigeon Roost Farms, inspiring crowds of all ages. I think a lot of the young kids have watched him, you know, over the years, and so it's a really special thing for them to come and see him continue to carve these amazing creations, and they are just have this look of awe and point of the pumpkin, so it's, it's a really fun thing to watch. And now, see his work on TV as a contestant week after week on the Food Network's new show, Outrageous Pumpkins. And I, I turned in this casting video where it was more like, I was like, I don't need to be on your show, you need me on your show, right? Tater says his special sauce, making sculpting a fun performance for everyone. A lot of carvers, when they're sculpting or, or, or carving a pumpkin, they're so focused in what they're doing, they can't stop to look up and say hello. Tater says no matter how far he gets in the competition, it's been a blast, and he hopes to continue to show fellow Central Ohioans. So it was pretty exciting like to be able to see what your work is and it actually be on TV. Anything's possible. In Hebron, Ashley Bornanson, 10TV News.